here with Sarah Kemp. I know not the finish you wanted. Um, those are two tough holes, uh, but still a solid day. I mean, kept yourself kind of near the top of the leaderboard, going to be a few back heading into tomorrow. Um, just kind of evaluate your day. Um, yeah, it was disappointing to finish bogey, bogey. Um, but like you said, they're actually two pretty hard holes. Um, but, yeah, I wanted to shoot something in the 60s. That was the goal. Um, 70s, not not in the 60s. But, yeah, look, I, I didn't shoot myself in the foot. Um, I'm still right in there and I'm playing well. So, um, yeah, got another chance tomorrow. So the putts have been dropping this week. Did they kind of continue to fall today? I hold a couple of nice ones. Um, I missed, uh, yeah, two par ones on, on 17 and 18, but I hold, yeah, probably a couple of uh, 15 to 20 footers today, which is nice for birdie. Um, but, yeah, I'm still I'm putting really well. It's just, you know, sometimes even when you putt well, they don't go in. So just going to stay patient, and, and hopefully I'll roll it the same tomorrow. Got to ask this of the veteran. I mean, getting to the end of the season, being in contention, walking a kind of a hard golf course to walk, what's your energy level like? And, and like, how do you kind of maintain your energy out there just to keep it up for tomorrow? I was better today. Um, yesterday, I was a little tired. I had that two o'clock tea time and, and the last few holes sort of got to me there. But um, no, today I actually have all the energy. I'm, I'm good. Um, but yeah, one more day, um, you know, I'll just make sure I go to bed early, have a good dinner. Um, but yeah, no, I can handle it. <laughs> That's why you're a veteran. Um, <laughs> heading into tomorrow, I mean, first win has been elusive. Um, do you just kind of, I know you need a good finish. I know where you're at. But, yep. like, do you still just kind of go for it? I mean, what do you got to lose now at this point? Pretty much, yeah. I'd probably, I don't know, I'll probably try and set a score um, for myself. I think that's how I think I'll play. You know, maybe if I tried to shoot, like, a six or a seven um, and, you know, whatever happens, happens. I think I'm, I think I'm what, five back or something like that. So, um, um, and with how the conditions are, um, I'm going to guess that, you know, those girls play pretty good tomorrow. But look, if I shot like a five or a six under, I'd be super stoked. Um, so I think I'll just try and go in with a score goal and, and start with that and see what it's like, you know, with a couple to go um, and then reevaluate then. Awesome. You got one? You're, yeah. you're, you're hitting it really as well as maybe you ever have. Yeah. Um, is that is your ball striking that what's gotten you to this point, you think? You know, I hit it the same as this last week and missed the cut by two um, but I didn't make anything I probably hit it a little further away this week I'm hitting I'm definitely hitting my wedges closer I think my proximity has been I looked at it last night um, it's like eight feet better than my average from like one 100 to 125 um, so I'm hitting it I'm hitting it good um, but I, the difference is I'm rolling in some of those birdie putts um, and I didn't do that last week and and I did in Canada actually um, so for me I feel like it's a bit it's it's mainly when I'm rolling in the putts is a big difference uh, week to week for me do you think when you're rolling those putts in that it frees up your golf swing because you don't feel like you got to slip it as close for sure you know like even like you know if you're one under after three or two under after four you know that that kind of freeness already as well is 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 great um but yes definitely when you know you're rolling it well um i i, I don't feel like i'm thinking about anything swing wise which is nice good luck tomorrow yeah thank you thanks